here we go. Shadows and light. I have lived in darkness. I have lived in the shadows. Now I live in the light of Jesus Christ. He is the light. We can be shadows of that light or shadows running from the light. We have free will. Do we run to Jesus, run to the light? Or do we run from Jesus and run into the shadows? Do we shine or do we hide? Many people do not have a relationship with Jesus Christ. But it is never too late. We are forever reminded of the thief on the cross. The story is simple. The options are two. The choice is yours to make. At any time in your life, you can believe in Jesus Christ and build a relationship with him. The thief, at the very end of his life, as he was crucified next to Jesus Christ, believed and was saved. The same thief, while others mocked Jesus, asked for forgiveness and recognized Christ was the Son of God, the thief recognized his own punishment as just and also knew Jesus did not deserve what was about to happen to him. A second thief who was crucified next to Jesus said, If you are the Christ, save yourself and us. The first thief, the one who believed in Jesus, replied, Do you not even fear God, seeing you are under the same condemnation? And we indeed justly, for we receive the due reward of our deeds. But this man has done nothing wrong. Then the thief who believed in Christ turned to Jesus and asked, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus answered, Assuredly, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. Luke chapter 23, verses 39 to 43. Wouldn't you like to know more about the thief who believed in Jesus and why he said what he said? Disbelievers will always find an excuse to not believe in the Bible. The various translations of the word are a common excuse used by many people who just do not want to believe in the Bible. But let's think about this. Various translations can be used by the devil to confuse people and turn them away from Jesus Christ. That is the devil's goal. The devil tempts us with such doubts on purpose and as planned. Yet the light still shines through the doubt as planned. The translations and our views on the translations are all part of the plan. This is the test which brings us the same choice as the two thieves crucified next to Jesus. One chose to believe, the other did not. In the end, the choice is yours. You can believe in Jesus Christ and accept the free gift of salvation or you can choose not to. You can live in the light, you can live in the darkness, or remain in the shadows. The choice is always yours. So are the consequences and blessings of your decision. With Jesus Christ, you are truly alive. Without Jesus Christ, you are truly dead.